Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy Nut the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival with Louise at the helm. So, we're uh, still at the Pridwin. We're uh, after our long journey last time, because it's been a while since I've played this game, because the Outer Worlds released in between uh, the last episode and now. I tried that out for a little bit, but it doesn't seem like anybody is really interested in watching me play that. So I'm going to put a hold on the Outer Worlds and we're going to continue our survival run of Fallout 4. So last time we went a bit over on an exploratory tour of the Commonwealth. Um, and we found a few nice resources, but it was just a little bit of exploring. I like to do that once in a while. We did get the parts we needed to uh, continue fixing up the USS Constitution, which is what we're gonna do next. I also got rid of the combat shotgun. It's now over here in my storage. For some reason, there's somebody on my bed. I should shoot them for that, but I'll, uh, I'll let that slide for now. Um, so we're gonna head back to the USS Constitution and as promised last time we're gonna head north towards the Parson Insane Asylum. So uh, let's do just that. So since we're on the Pridwin there's only one thing to do. We need to head down and we do that in style. There we go because again no fall damage if you're actually using power armor which always comes in handy. We're starting this out at night which uh, might be problematic but um, the first Part of this episode is just going to be a little trip towards the USS Constitution and I've killed everything along the way quite recently so I don't think that's going to be a problem. You can see it over there even so uh, see you guys over there in just a minute. And there we go the boat is already being lowered by our captain our lovely captain iron sights and it I love how the, the, the fact that this elevator is completely automatic. You don't even need to push a button it just comes down when you're here uh, and then we need to go into the hold of the ship. Because I think we needed to talk to... what's her name? Um, is it him? No. It's over... It's an honor to crew such a story. That's all. Hello? Okay. Aha! Okay, so we need to repair this immediately. So we can repair the turbo pump. So install the FLL3 turbo pump bearings. There we go. You carefully put the bearing into the fuel chamber, then close the assembly. You put the now fully assembled turbo pump into place. There we go, and we can return to Ironside, so we don't need to actually reactivate it. I don't know, I've never been into the captain quarters before, this seems like, yeah. Yes. Covert operations manual, so it it's, seemed like a room that should have at least one uh, powerful upgrade. It's called, Fallout 4 is really, really good at that, it just shows you, ooh, cap stash, that didn't even count to stealing. Um, it's really, really good at giving you rewards for getting into areas you actually need to... Uh, well, you need to do some effort, perform some effort to actually get into. So usually a bobblehead or a, or a skill magazine like that one. So that's really, really nice. So let's get back to iron sights. I feel like we've done a hell of a lot for iron sights. What the hell? Oh yeah, look at that. You can actually see Diamond City light up, lit up at the moment, which is uh, yeah, some really cool visual storytelling. But Captain Iron Sights, we've been going around half of the Commonwealth for you at this point. Are we done yet? Steady as she goes, Mr. Navigator. Luck willing, at long last, we'll set sail. And our hero of the hour is to think. You've earned a double share, madam. Well done. Um, oh, set sail? Set sail. On the eve of our voyage, the need for secrecy is long past. Our twin NX-42 rockets will alight and then moor us from this dreaded savings and loan. The Constitution will launch into the heavens and after, gently land in the ocean. Then we take our rightful place as defenders of the Atlantic. That sounds like a really cool plan, but I'm wondering if this is even feasible. You're going to do what? Um, that's ambitious. That's ambitious. I want to see Everything this happening. Say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Mr. Navigator, put her through her paces. We need to... Those motherless curs! Okay, we're being attacked again. Um, hello? I mean, I have plenty of ammo. For fuck's sake, Louise. Oh, that was a legendary. I should probably heal, I think. Am I healing? I'm healing very, very slowly. Okay. Um, oh, no, no, no. Don't don't throw grenades, you mad woman. I don't even know what I'm... I'm tossing a vertebrate signal grenade. That's probably not good. Ow. I'm getting hit quite a bit here. There's legendary scab. Ooh. 
legendary scavengers all over the place. Let's get back to the, the, the fragmentation grenades, thank you. And then I'm gonna heal up a little bit more. I shouldn't probably go through my food. Let's grab a stem pack for once. You know, stem packs. They've been a while. Um, stem packs, there we go. I'm mildly dehydrated because of that, but oh. There we go. Oh god. Oh wow. That legendary one hits like a truck. So let's see, where is that? So that one I can definitely hit. There we go. And then, oh. And then we have another scavenger over there, but the legendary one. Ah, there she is. I'm just going to take it out with a critical. There we go. Because that one seemed like the biggest issue. And then the other ones are probably just going to die because of the... Uh... And there we go. Um, I don't know what's going to happen if the the Brotherhood... Um, are, are they really attempting to board or... Was that just something you you like? Board the vertebrate? No, 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 I don't... I'm sorry, Brotherhood. <laughs> There's supposed to be a vertebrate around here. Okay, so they apparently boarded the... Wait, I'm confused. Um, according to the quest log, I need to go down. So let's just do that. They're probably inside. Okay, so they're definitely firing away at the, uh, the scavengers. Those are just protectrons. They're all firing down. So I'm assuming they're just downstairs still. Hi. Die. Thank you. Um, I think there was a grenade flying past me, but... I think I got a little bit of VAT's defense. I leveled up from that. Okay, uh, so this guy... Critical. Um, then this one I can just blast. Then that guy over there, I should probably just... Critical as well. Okay. I feel like they keep coming in. Wait, are they upstairs? Oh wow, they're upstairs, okay. There we go. That's one. And there we go. Let's just blast that. I keep pressing back. I shouldn't probably press back. Left arm. And then that one over there is an elite one. So let's just critical. Uh, maybe do another one. Oh god. That's a grenade. Where's the, the, the legendary? There he is. Um, fire at that one. The first one can be a critical. And then the if the second one hits, I actually get a kill. There we go. And then... Um. Bye. Okay. Okay. Language. Please. Language. Come on. I keep spending a lot of AP here, so my cores are going down rather quickly. But okay, so that seems like we're done. Although everybody's still firing. I'm um, just quickly gonna loot around because there were a few legendaries here. Stimpak, definitely gonna grab that. Aha, the penetrating boxing glove. <laughs> okay, ignores 30% of the target's damage and energy resistance. Would have been something for uh, for Bob. Oh wow, there's another legendary here. Um, critical. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. Ooh. A cloaking synth arm. Being hit in melee generates a stealth field once per 60 seconds. That's pretty cool, but I'm probably not going to be able to use that. Braced fiberglass combat armor right arm. I'm just going to grab that because of the interesting attachments on it. But for some reason, the, uh, the scavengers keep pouring into the building. I guess it's really weird. <laughs> they just keep saying hello. One at a time. Which doesn't seem like an effective battle strategy, but uh, there we are. So back on the deck, the vertebrate is still flying around somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. It's leaving. 
Bye. I wasted one of my vertebrate signal grenades, but I still have two left, so I should be able to uh, get out of that trouble if I need to. All hands, prepare ship for launch. Um, c con congratulations. Congratulations, Captain. There is one thing. We need power from the auxiliary generator to commence our voyage. I fear I must call upon you one last time. Oh, great. Um, okay, where where do I need to go then? I admire your pluck. Here is your amply deserved reward. God speed to you, madam. Oh, this weighs way too much. 27.4 weight, the broadside, and it uses cannonballs. Does 114 damage, which is actually pretty good. That's more than any other weapon I have at the moment. But uh, yeah, um, I, I'm, I don't really have a use for that. Can I? Is the auxiliary power? I suppose that's outside somewhere, so I can just jump down. Because I also need to check that legendary over there. Um, and the corpse is over here. So, seems like, yeah, I think auxiliary power might be, might be in the back. I don't want to be near those, because I've seen those engines blow up multiple times now. Gonna have to be careful about that, but just, I'm gonna do a little bit of looting. And we get the cunning metal right leg from the, uh, ooh, that's actually pretty good. Plus one to agility and perception. Hmm. Very good indeed. And some, uh, some really good combat armor as well. I'm gonna take that. And then, okay, what do we need to do? We need to fire up the auxiliary power. So it's not in the back of the ship, that's my uh, my older marker towards the insane asylum. It's supposedly over here. Yeah, I see the wire running. Yeah, it's all the way up top that building. I think this building also has a bed, if I recall correctly. And some more corpses for, for I don't know, decoration, I suppose. There's like a very, very small generator here as well. I don't know what this thing is doing here. That seems like a bug, right? Generators aren't usually that small. Because you have that same message you can build in your settlements, but uh, seems a little bit too... Oh, There was a Mr. Handy here to enable the uh, auxiliary power, but he died. Yeah, slowly throttle the engine. There we go. Auxiliary power. Powered up. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. I hope I won't die here, because I'm pretty close to the ship. Ooh. Mr. Navigator, light the engines. Okay. Are, are they really going to fly? Because I have never done this quest. Oh, they're actually moving. Um, there, there they... Ooh, wow. There goes the building. Oh. Oh, wow. They actually have upwards thrusters as well. Look at that! Wow, okay. Um, I I hope they reach water. I, I thought the sea was a... Okay. Okay, that was amazing. Um, there's now a ship even higher and I do love that this quest basically allows you to change the map permanently because now the ship, I mean, it's no longer there. Look at, look at what it left. Um, it's now, because that's the Mars Fusion building, right? What was that building again? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it's, I think that's a building you can enter. Maybe it was a building you can enter. Okay, but that's the... Uh, USS Constitution Quest. It's now basically at the highest point in Boston. Okay, um, but with that done, we can actually move towards our other objective of this episode, towards the Insane Asylum. Oh, they left Lookout alone. He wasn't on the ship when it fired away. <laughs> That's sad. Hi, Lookout. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. He's, he's not... He's not over there. You can actually see this ship from basically everywhere now, I suppose. <laughs> that is really, really cool. But, heading out. 
And before I forget it, we also leveled up, so we need to select a new perk. I have been working towards uh, intelligence in the last few level ups. Uh, there are a few very cool perks that we can unlock luck based as well. Um, and I think we can get one more because I only need to go up to science. We have one more point we can get from the bobblehead into intelligence. So that is that. Local leader will get from the bobblehead that we're trying to get today. So I think I'm fine taking another uh, perk in the luck tree unless I can level up my weapon damage. So no, both Rifleman and Gunslinger are at their current maximum level. Lone Wanderer doesn't give me anything else either. So we'll go with... Let's go with the first tier of Grim Reaper Sprint. So any kill in VATS has a 15% chance to restore all action points. We're using VATS quite a lot, so I'm definitely going for Grim Reaper Sprint at some point. So might as well start doing that right now. Aha! Uh -huh. And we come across County Crossing. And there seems to be... Okay, so I'm, I'm not allied to the settlement, but maybe I can start a quest that can get me allied to the settlement. Because on survival, every settlement is basically a resting point where you can save, gather supplies, and stuff like that. So, hello, sir. Last time I had clean fingernails. Do you have anything for me to do? Huh? Okay, nothing. Okay. Look about you. Hope you ain't here for me. <clears throat> Another day of hard work it never changes. Okay, so these settlers aren't reacting to me. Can I use their water pump? Can't do that while in power armor, but I can drink from it. Because um, these guys have a nice mud fruit farm. That is really, really cool, but for some reason. Yeah, I can't use this as a settlement just yet. I could probably start cooking, but. Okay, I can't sleep in any of the beds either. I can't make a bed, so might as well move on. Wait a second, is this the National Reserve? Oh, I remember this. I remember this from our uh, our melee run. Our gunless playthrough. Because this is where... Um, you have a, an, an extra suit of power armor here, right? Might as well try and... Um, oh, don't, don't jump. I wanted to go to the sniper rifle. There we go. Um, there we go. Um, but there's also a sentry bolt here, and I'm not sure if there's a bed inside any of the... Yeah, the National Guard training yard. Hmm. Do I stop here? I might as well do that on the way back, basically. Because um, right now, I don't see the use of me getting here. I'm pretty good weapon-wise. I just need some more... Upgrades to my stats before we move any further. So, yeah, let's leave that for now and just move further towards the north. Because I think that over there, those satellite dishes are the super mutant camp that is uh, holding part of the Brotherhood quest. Um, so, probably should stay clear of that as well. I'm going to check the map really quickly. So, we, we're going in the right direction. We have, yeah, this is the insane asylum where we need to talk to the guard captain since we have that quest from from the Cabot estate, so uh, we need to head over there. It seems like if we move to the right past the, um, the satellite dishes, I might be able to merge into the main road and then head north. Single mile lurk in the way, and we're immediately into caution. So I don't know what else might be lurking, <laughs> pun intended, around the, uh, the corner, but I think it might just be the uh, super mutants starting to freak out. He was eating on a corpse. There we go. So let's just grab that. The distress signal is over here, of course, because, uh, yeah, we know that it's in one of those satellite dishes for the uh, Brotherhood quest. I'm wondering if I can actually just move to the north and move to... Oh, crap. That's a Mr. Gutsy. Move to the end of that quest immediately. I'm not sure. I never done it that way. Um... Oh, that also has power armor. Oh, God. Come on. There we go. Okay. Got hit a little bit, but the uh, the gutsies are always dangerous. But it was a low-level gutsy. It's not the... A, 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 what's it called? The general gutsy? The higher level... Ooh, is that just a Brotherhood Vertibert? I hope it is. 
There's a blood bug in the trees over there, but this... This should be nice. So a bit of... Ooh, plasma cartridges. I'm gonna take a few of them with me. And this thing has at least a fusion core. Might as well grab that. The T60, I basically have better T60 stuff, so... No need to grab that, and that those things are... Yeah... Not really stuff that I can use. Okay, so that... Oh, yeah, he's gonna crash. The vertebrate is firing at the super mutant, but there he goes. There he goes. Boom! Uh, please don't get hit by debris, by the way. Okay. That's fine. I think... If I keep moving to the north, I might as well bump into the... Uh, the bunker that that Brotherhood of Steel guy is hiding in as well. Now, I think that place over there is where you can get the Sish Kebab, which is not something I want to tangle with. Who are you? Don't think I won't hurt oh, you. crap. Um, um, I don't know you. Um, you know what? Let's just fire at him. And then we can go on his head. Use a critical on that. That's at least a little bit. I'm just going to hide because he uh, actually packs a punch quite a bit. Um, I am going for some Machops. So I can eat that up. Is there something else firing at me or is that just him? Let's just fire twice at him again and then take over. Is he throwing... Why are you throwing a grenade right next to a car, you madman? There he goes. I don't know who you are. But for some reason, you were very mad with me. Gruel's list. I'm going to have to take a look at that. He was just using a... Ooh. He has quite a bit of meat on him. A recon 50 caliber sniper rifle. That actually might be better than the one I'm using. I'm just going to check. Yeah, it is. It actually does 107 damage. With the 50 caliber rounds. I'll keep that with me. I'm going to get rid of the broadsider because I, I don't really have a use for that um, even though it is a unique weapon I'm not going to be using it so I might as well drop it and I will drop the ammo for it as well because I have 24 cannonballs of one weight each so uh, let's drop those as well so we still have a bit of ammunition for that Gruel's shopping list a few pounds of jiao gua meat half a dozen dead claw eggs myrlock meat shelf shell only beer lots a cup of glowing one blood what they don't know won't hurt them who the oh, I dropped, I dropped the broadside on his head. I don't know who you are. But seems like you had an, a very nice sniper rifle on your corpse, so don't mind if I do. And I think with the, the recon means it has a recon scope. So yeah, now I can see... Look how far I can see, and I can mark enemies with that as well. So if I just hold still... I can actually shoot at one of the forged. So yeah, this is definitely the place where you can get the uh, the shish kebab. Um, and they're running around like crazy because they don't know where the shots came from. They might come after me, but I don't really care about that. Okay, so let's move on. So I need to be careful because I'm pretty sure that this, uh, this area is a possible nesting grounds for a Myler Queen. And I don't have the resources to be dealing with a Myler Queen. I actually need to go... Oh. Are those friend friendly farmers? It looks like they are. Might make a few new friends here before we... Because I think that's the insane asylum. So we can see it on the other side of the, the water here. Hello, everybody. Let's put away my gun. Can I help anybody here in the slow? We're in some real trouble here. I hope you can help. Right, you guys are ghouls. Hi. If you've got caps, I've got goods. Wait, you said you were in, in, in trouble. Um, I, I mean... Sure, sure, I wanna, I can barter with you, but you said you were in trouble. Another time, maybe. Wiseman is a great man and a great leader. What's more, I owe him my life. Okay, so wise man, we need to talk to wise man. That's a worker, another worker, and presumably another worker. So wise man, are you wise man? Hello. Welcome to the slog. We're the only tarberry bog in the Commonwealth. So what do you think of the place? I want to help, because this seems like a fine settlement. Uh, it's impressive. It's pretty clever, making a tarberry bog out of an old swimming pool. I appreciate your saying so. When I came across this place, it was the first time I'd seen anything like it. It seemed like a shame not to use it for something. 
You probably noticed it's only ghouls around here. Yeah, I noticed. I used to live in Diamond City until that rat bastard mayor threw me and all the other ghouls out. I decided that we ghouls should have a place where we could feel welcome. And that's mainly why I started up this farm. There's like explosions and gunfire going on in the background, so I'm really worried about these guys, but uh, you've done well. It looks like you've done well for yourselves. It's a good start, yeah, and I'm proud of all the work we've done. Still, I think we can do more. What if this place could be more than just a refuge for ghouls who aren't welcome elsewhere? What if it could also be an example of what we can do when we put our minds to something and work together? We want this to be a place that everyone looks forward to visiting. With smiling faces, good bargains, and great produce. Maybe we can make people take a second look, you know? Maybe then they'd see that we're not monsters. No, because you're just people who look a bit worse than they did before, and you're basically immortal because of radiation. I don't know how that works, but um, can I help? Anything I can do to help? As a matter of fact, there is. We can't sell tar berries without traders, and trade caravans need safe roads. There's a gang of super mutants that's been preying on anyone who comes near their turf, including traders. It'd be a great help to us if you could take care of those brutes once and for all. Okay, I'll definitely take care of them. I'll take care of those super mutants. I promise. Good. I didn't know what we were going to do. So, the slog greenskins kill the super mutants and break heart banks. Now, the first question I want to ask, is there a bed I can use here without me being allied to this settlement already? Um, there are beds here, but I'm not sure yet. So these are all owned. So I can't do anything with these beds. And if I want to... Hmm. There might be a bed in Parsons, but I'm not sure. Um, let's enable that quest to see where that leads me. Oh! So it's just along the river to break banks. Um, and if I want to go to Parsons State Insane Asylum, I might as well take the road up there right now. Let's check Parsons first. And then we'll head to break hard banks if we still have the time for it. And if we're still alive, of course. Because this is survival. If we die, we go back to the last place I saved. And that was where the uh, US's constitution took off. To go to Parsons, we need to cross the water. I want to do that rather safely. I know I'm still in power armor, but still, probably not the best idea to go swimming at this time. I was just going to say, I need to be really careful because we're getting up north um, into Death Claw territory. And there's just one of those Death Claws. I think he's floating on, the, on that bit of debris. I'm just going to slowly walk around this little, this little problem. Um, cause he's, yeah, he's just sleeping. He doesn't care about somebody in power armor sneaking around him. Uh, if I run it, if he wakes up, I probably need to run towards the insane asylum. Cause they will most likely be able to help. The guards over there will take care of the, uh, the death claw with me. But seems like we're pretty okay now. Okay, that was just a little bit scary. So, there we go. Maria, if you need any. There's a bunch of mercenaries at the Insane Asylum, and I think, wasn't there... I don't know where the bobblehead exactly is, I thought it might be in the the guards' cabinets here. Oh, there we go, we leveled up again. Which is now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a second before we actually use that skill point. Let's go win, because we need to talk to the guard anyway. Oh, but the guard is outside, never mind, let's talk to this place uh, is off her. Hands. You'd best move along. Hello, Maria, uh, Edward sent me. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new girl. So this I am. package, pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Okay. Um, are they raiders? Who are these guys? Raiders? Sure. Assholes with guns. Although it's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Kind of like they're scouting this place or something. I don't like it. I'm glad you're going to finally get rid of them. Okay. That was... I mean, you just assumed that was going to help. Can I go into the insane asylum? I'm wondering. Because I'm pretty sure I won't be able to. Yeah, I need a key. And I'm only going to get that key if I rescue those guys from... What I'm assuming are going to be gunners. 
Then I think the smartest thing to do is just take care of the super mutants first so we can sleep at... Well, it's basically the same thing. Either we kill the super mutants to be able to sleep at the... Um, what was it called? At the slog. So we go to break hard banks to uh, be able to sleep at the slog. Or we go to the absolute north of the map and save those uh, mercenaries from those raiders or gunners probably. Um... Which doesn't guarantee me a bed, probably, either, because I don't know if the Insane Asylum actually has beds. Let's recover the package. Let's do that. Because we're closest to it, otherwise I need to go past that, uh, past that dead claw again, and I don't look forward to doing that. So, so Maria said that the assholes with guns are pretty close to the Insane Asylum, so I'm assuming that's their building. I'm going to use the Marksman Rifle for this. Because that has a night vision scope, so if I see anybody from over here, I might be able to fire at them from uh, this distance, which is going to be safer for my skin. Because, um, of course, still survival. Kind reminder that we're still playing on survival difficulty. So if we die, we're back about uh, half an hour. Um, and I don't want to risk that. This seems like it is the building that we're looking for. There's lights all over the place. But I don't see anybody. Oh, wait. Is that a face? That seems like a face. It definitely was a face of a raided survivalist. So that's her first shot. He hasn't seen me yet. Oh, there, there's one. There's a, there's a psycho. If he stops moving... Ah, oh, I got him there, but... Uh, that's scum. I can take that out, no problem. Okay. Uh, no, not the torso. Not the torso. The, the, the arm. Thank you. And we got Grim Reaper Sprint there, so let's abort. I have cover. I have a little bit of cover. And I think... So that's a survivalist. I can actually do this and then a critical... There we go, there goes his head. So there we go, that's the power of vats. I've even got Grim Reaper Sprint from that. <laughs> oh, with the death bell and everything. Okay. So three raiders, one of them was a survivalist, which was pretty hefty, but with a few uh, stealthy shots he was taken out. Wait. Is there another raider around here? I heard somebody say, huh? There is something marked, but I know I need to grab a package, so it might be on the survival list. Yeah, there we go. The Parson Screamery. Mysterious Serum. Ooh. Adds fatigue and suppresses immunity, but adds 50 damage resistance and... Re wow. Removes basically every piece of rads you have and gives you 5 extra strength. That is nice. Aha! And 44 rounds. That's also really nice. Um... Because I can use that with Kellogg's pistol. Okay, so there is a mercenary fighting with Raider Scum over there. I don't really need to bother. I'm hoping they didn't booby trap the wrong place, but... Uh, is there a bed in here? Because if there is, Raider beds aren't owned, so I can actually sleep in those. Um, I'm being attacked. I think I'm being attacked. I don't know. There's like a bunch of Raiders all of a sudden outside. Um... I should uh, probably swap over to the laser pistol. There's at least one with a, a missile launcher. Yeah, that, that thing. Aha! But it's the Brotherhood of Steel is helping us out. That is good. So they're firing up there. Okay. I, I got a little bit of backup. Don't mind if I do. I love those random events just happening. Follow 3 did the same thing, so it just populated the uh, world with random stuff happening. And this is just really cool. All of a sudden I have two heavily armored Brotherhood Knights helping me out. I don't even need to worry at this point, I suppose. So these are the guys I already checked, right? Yeah. So those are the two guys I killed before. Ah, there's a legendary raider around here. Okay, so when he died over here... Thank you, guys. Thank you, Lucky. Ooh. Lucky is really good. Plus two luck. That is really good. So lucky leather right leg. I think once we get to a bed, 
I'm gonna try and reconfigure my armor just a little bit because Lucky is well worth the reduction in uh, in damage re resistance I'm gonna get. So definitely gonna check that out. But we got the Mysterious Serum, which now allows us, I hope, to go into the Insane Asylum, which is, I mean, building design-wise, this place is really, really cool. It has these really creepy statues on the outside. And the entrance, I never really showed you that, but the entrance also looks pretty cool. So there we go. The entrance to Parson, Parson's Insane Asylum actually looks like this, with like a really cool antique gateway on top of it. Um, but this should be enough. Where is Maria? Wait a second. What's happening to my quest markers? Because that is supposed to be... I'm assuming that's... That's going to be the uh, Super Mutants, right? That marker? Yeah, that's... Uh, the super, the super, the, the super mutants. Are you serious? Return the serum to Cabot House. I don't want to. I don't want to. I would just want to go into the insane asylum. <laughs> I thought I could just return it to Maria. Wait, she's over here. Can I talk to her? I guess Edward knew what he was doing when he hired you. Oh. <clears throat> you better get your ass on back to Cabot House with that package. Edward's not as patient as he seems. Okay, okay, but I I still can't go in here. <laughs> okay, so that means that I need to go kill the uh, super mutants if I want to do this risk free, or we use the vertebrates and don't risk anything at all. I think I probably sh no. I want to have I want to have that settlement over there. If I don't have that settlement, I don't have a, an easy way to get back here. The only problem is. There's a death claw in my way. So he's right over here. And the belly of the death claw is his weak spot. Do I want to kill this thing? Is this worth it? I mean, I sneaked around it the last time. Should be able to do it again. But I mean, I can't just leave my first death claw over here, right? The first death claw of the game. I don't know. I'm just going to try. Oh god, that did absolutely nothing. Um, how many shots can I take with this? Um, because it's coming. I should probably, um... Let's grind a critical. Oh, wow. This is not gonna do anything, is it? Um, I should probably just get, get... Is it gonna, gonna be able to navigate around here? Oh, god! Uh, I'm gonna go back to Parsons. I'm gonna go back to Parsons. They're gonna have to help me, or they're gonna die. Um, let's just jump. And jump. I can hear it behind me. And jump a little bit around. Get my action points back, and then full on sprint. Sprint, sprint to Parsons. Hi, guys. Is it still following me? Oh, it's not. And it's still marked. What? 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 That's funny that you say that. I just wanna. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna lure this thing over here. Oh. <laughs> yep. Yep. You're doing great, Officer Gomez. So, belly hit with a critical. Oh wow, that did, oh, that did do actually quite a bit. So, that claw, and that's just a normal death claw, by the way. <laughs> oh wow, I can't even hit it properly. It's moving so erratically. Um, no, don't, don't, fire, don't fire at the mercenaries. I don't know why the mercenaries were red all of a sudden. They killed it for me, and I did get the idiot savant experience for it. That is really good. Okay, I was uh, I was not scared at all. That was just the nerve speaking. Oh god. Okay, so we're right at the super mutants over here, um, and it seems like he will be able to take him out with a single shot here. Oh god! I'm just gonna hide. I'm just gonna hide on the other side of the rocks. 
because there's uh, definitely more stronger super mutants hiding around here. And there we got a second one with a sneaky shot. I don't even have a sneak build and that seems to be working out a-okay because that was a skirmisher but my not most powerful rifle because I'm now using the uh, the night vision stuff. So nothing to see here anymore. So there's two outside of the camp. I'm assuming, yeah, there's at least one more over there. Oh, there's one on the left here as well. I could probably take him out with a normal... Oh, wow, no. There we go. That's the second shot. Can you reload? Thank you. Ooh, that's a butcher. Butchers are usually a bit tougher. Can I hit him in the face? Oh, wow. Uh, what's that? That's a skirmisher. I'm just going to take out the butcher with a critical shot. Oh, wow. He's not dead, is he? Um, let's just fire at this guy with a, for a bit. No, you're not. Are you... Are you mad at me or... Okay. Kind of blew open his uh, his uh, thing there. That. There we goes. Okay, there's still something alive. And it's coming towards me. Yeah, it's a hound. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Can I? Can you go for the head? You gotta go for the head. It looks terrifying if it's coming towards me though. Can you please? Can you please? Hit it. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Okay, that was terrifying for a second there, but I think I killed all of the super mutants then, because that last one was marked. The hound itself was marked. So I'm going to assume that that was the last bit of it. Is this also a possible settlement, by the way? Because if it is, I might as well drop a save in here. It has workbenches and a mattress. That's, that's the most important thing out here. Multiple mattresses. Oh my god, it's Christmas all of a sudden. And food! It even has food! These guys were stocking up on meat and corn. This is amazing. This is the best camp ever. Uh, I don't need all that, but anything else? Ooh, 50 caliber. Definitely need that with my new sniper rifle. Oh god, there's another one. Yeah, I found you, I think. There he goes. Okay, now it's complete. I was thinking I needed a pop-up of some description. This is actually really good. Because there's even corn here. This should be a settlement, right? It even has a toilet! A, a, a complete toilet. I just need to move back just a little bit, just in case this is booby trap. but come on. This has to be a settlement, right? Food amenities, workbenches, even a, a separated toilet. They do keep corpses in the toilet, so that might not be the best way of uh, dealing with that, but um, might as well take the food they have on them. But... This seems like a really nice little settlement. And it's not. That is... That is just too bad. That's really sad. But I am gonna sleep here for a second. Okay. I slept. I'm tired. But I haven't contracted the disease. So... Once we get back to um, the slog, we should be able to uh, get a good full night's sleep. And we'll end it right there. But... Is this definitely not a, a, a camp? Because, I mean, it has everything. I'm even going to harvest all the corn. So, cooked all my meat as well. Saves a bit on the weight too. And we can move on. I do need to check my bars. I think I'm tired, but I don't know if I'm... Oh yeah, I'm definitely... Yeah, I'm hungry as well. Okay, I'm properly fed. That's good. Um, I am not yet in the red of um, dehydrated, which is also really good. And there might actually be more Mongol dog meat. Might as well to grab that with me. Uh, and otherwise, this seems to be fine. So I liberated this place. The Break, break Heart something. What was it called? I need to remember these names. Break Heart Banks. That's what it's called. Um, I didn't check out the looking station over here. Oh, and it has a new Coca-Cola Quantum. Uh, that's Super Mutant Waste Cloth. 
But there we go, this is the big prize, Nuka-Cola Quantum, a stim pack, I'm gonna leave the red eggs, then the boy apples, and that is dirty water if I recall correctly, yeah. And use the sabo, useless to me at least. Okay, let's head back to the ghouls at the slog. Oh wait, yeah, I kind of passed by that bit, and it has an assault run and a Mr. Gutsy, so I'm wondering what these guys are actually guarding. I actually do quite a bit of damage. So I might see what I can do with the recon rifle then. I'm gonna mark them. I saw there was at least, yeah, that's the Assaultron. And there's also a Mr. Gutsy. Oh wow, that did absolutely nothing. Great. Um, so it's coming in my, my direction. It's gonna start firing at me probably, but uh, let's just give it a good whiz. And then... Um, are you gonna do something? That's that. Ooh, it did hit rather aggressively. Uh, fusion cells, assault on circuit board. Is that actually more interesting? I'm not entirely sure. And then that Mr. Gutsy. I just saved, so I might as well take the risk. Let's grab the mole rat chunks. Where is he? Ah, there's the Mr. Gutsy. I can actually try... Well, it's a combat inhibitor. So, I called him once. He hasn't seen me yet. I think he has. Let's just drain my AP on him. There we go. And we get Grim Reaper Sprint again. Wow, that is really, really loud, those death bells. Um, but that's good. And I can check out this military transport without even risking my skin. I only got hit once, so that's pretty nice. There's some nice, nice bits of ammo here, but otherwise I don't really see what all the fuss is about. There's a tank on this thing, but sadly I can't use the tank. That would have been cool, just grab the tank and start blasting our way through the commonwealth. <laughs> like, hello, here's Louise. Come and see my cannon. So, back at the slog, we should talk to Wise Man again. And he should probably now give us access to his uh, lovely settlement. Hello, Those wise man. Won't be bothering you again. Is he gonna talk to me while sleeping? 97 bottle caps, and I can now use the workshop I guess at the slow. Right for the job, huh? Thanks, friend. You're welcome. By the way, we've decided to support I the keep minute busy fixing the meals. We've got and to help each house. other if we want things to get better. Indeed. So, uh, thank you, wise man. Do you have any other quests by any I chance? I just want to trade a few things. Sure thing. Ah, okay, so he counts... Ooh. How does that work? I can just steal everything I want to? That is weird. You're not my companion, are you? No, you're not. That's a bit weird. Wow, ain't you a looker? So there's a lot of supplies in here. Uh, might as well grab the stem packs. But what I'm gonna do is dr drop a lot of my junk into the workbench here. We're almost to the uh, local leader perk. So once we have that, we can actually start connecting our settlements. And the slog is a very, very nice addition because it has a very extended farm already. So I don't even need to do much work into, put much work into that. So let's transfer all my junk, which is not that much, but we can also plant the corn, although they have a nice selection of corn themselves. Those are carrots. Why do I actually need to make vegetable soup? I'm, Quickly gonna leave my uh, my power armor for a bit and explore a little bit. So for vegetable soup, I just need carrots and potatoes with some dirty water, which is actually pretty simple. And we got a lot of HP. It counts as food and water, if I remember correctly. And yeah, let's make at least one of those. There we go, carrot and potato. Uh, but we need more. Oh wait, I'm actually over encumbered right now. Ha, huh, no, I'm not over encumbered. That's weird. What the hell is going on? So sadly, the right leg I had that gave me plus one agility and perception is also the same as the, the position I have for the lucky piece of gear I got. So I'm definitely going with the lucky build. Um, so two plus two to luck is just incredibly useful. Um, other than that, so, I provided the slog with a bit more food, some water pumps, and a few guard posts as a defense against uh, probably those guys from over there. But uh, the last thing I need to do is, of course, sleep. I'm gonna do that in a minute, but before we 
we actually go to sleep, I want to say goodbye. Guys, uh, we're going to take a little break. I've rearranged my armor a little bit as well, too, so I now have that lucky gear, but otherwise nothing too fabulous. But uh, we're going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fallout 4 Survival, and I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.